Hi everyone, welcome back to Lou's channel. I wasn't going to do a vlog today because we're just having a family day out, but we came here and as far as I can see there are no car park restrictions, as in no camper vans or no staying overnight. So I thought I would give a quick review on where we are today in Largs, just outside of Largs. This is all the stuff that's here. So there are a wee burger van here, sells tea, coffees and the usual chips and burgers and ice creams. So that's pretty cool. So there are a few camper vans parked here but it's mainly full of cars during the day but it gets really quiet at night. Um, so I'm just going to show you, it's quite a big car park along here and then all the way along there as well. So just at the end of the car park they're a toilet block and I nearly peed myself because they're actually for free. Never happens, you normally have to pay like 20 or 50p. The toilets are very clean. I don't know what time they're open till at night, um, but it's just right on the beach as well. Uh, so that's a bonus. So they've got a big massive grass area uh, right on the beach front and lots of picnic benches. So it's pretty kid friendly and I'll, as I say the toilets are free as well which is amazing. Um, it's quite a big area and it's good for cycling and walking because it's a, a paved way all the way across. So I don't know if you can see the cycle signs but you can cycle for miles for 33 miles to Glasgow, 7 miles to Greenock. So the cycle path is very long and, and good quality. So this is where Lily's parked, she's just in a normal car park space but as I say at night it gets very quiet after all the dog walkers and families are away. Quite a good spot. So I've definitely not seen any overnight ca uh, no camping signs. I thought if anything this would have been one but it's not so seems, oh, seems very good. Lily's just in the background there and they're absolutely no signs that I can see anywhere saying we can't camp so that's fabulous it's probably going to be one of our new favorite spots so this is the view um, from the car park it's London's Bay car park and it's just outside of Largs and um, it's also got a garden center just behind it which serves amazing cakes and uh, coffee obviously not sponsored but it's one of our favorite places uh, and I just let you see the view and that's straight out of the car park so you're not really going to get a better free camping spot on the beach than this locally anyway it's just also had a brand new um, swing park built uh, a quarter of a million pound i don't really want to go up to it any closer because it's a uh, really really busy with children uh, it's quite a good park my two are 10 and 7 and they had a ball in it for about an hour and the surroundings of the hills and the sea are amazing the beach today is mega clear as well. The water's uh, basically transparent, so it's amazing. Look how clear and still the water is. It's just amazing. And there's an overall of the beach, the toilets, the cafe, and the park. And over there, just where the flags are, if you can see them, that is a Cardwell Garden Center. Such a pretty view for any van lifers. The scooters have been dumped. Another wee swing park were found. And it's in amongst the trees. So it's pretty cool we find. Not bad at all. Courtney climbing the trees on the walk. She doesn't learn her lesson. She was just at the hospital for falling off a pole and hurting her ankle. Thankfully it wasn't broken and now she's up a tree. Good fun Courtney. Yeah. Be careful. Hello. Cara doing her thing in the wee bit at the play park. Oh, missed. Well, ah, oh, well done though. Yeah, can you go along this one? <laughs> Corny's bigger, so it's easier for her. Pretty kill cool wee maze thing. 
So the path has now changed into a gravel path. Um, it seems to last longer when you walk the, um, the near the park, uh, the new park, but down this end it gets gravelly after a while, but still a very decent path for walking or cycling, just not so good for the kids' scooters. So we have just found this kind of wee bit of a private beach, it's not really, but it's just a wee in shot that no one's at, um, and it's amazing. I'm just going to show you how clear the water is, um, but this is it. It's kind of a gravel stone beach here. Um, but it's still very pretty. They've got some flies as well, which are annoying, but it's not too bad and no midges, so that's always good. This is how clear, this is how clear the water is. It goes, you can see out for ages, um, the camera just doesn't pick it up um, too well. It's very calm today and the water is literally so clear. It's amazing. So the cars enjoyed making our handprints out of some water on the rocks and making patterns. I'm just going to walk along this. I'm just going to show you how clear the water goes out. Corny's up here on the rocks. So it's a kind of good spot for a wee bit of adventure but not too dangerous. This is what the water is like. I don't want to go too down too deep. Um, but at the other side it's a lot clearer than this side. Um, it's got none of the seaweed stuff in it um, but you can actually see for miles out and there's Courtney at the top you won't see how high she is because the way it's filming but yeah it is beautiful the water's like this at the other side uh, very clear so that's that's nice So I'm just going to end the video here, as I say it was just a short one because we weren't planning on videoing anything today, it's just a family day out, but I would I rate this car park a good 9, 10 out of 10, it doesn't have any water facilities other than the toilets to wash your hands and stuff and it doesn't have any grey or dark uh, black water disposal but it's just a car park um, so I really recommend it. Um, it's definitely a 9 out of 10 and it's very local um, so you've got like things around you to do like it's like maybe 10 minute drive from Largs or if you're going into Greenock it's probably another 10-15 minutes to Greenock so it's quite a good spot for um, things to do around here so highly recommend it please like and subscribe um, I would really appreciate it I'm trying to get to maybe what a thousand subscribers but I'm only at 350 so I need a big hand a big help Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Bye.